morning grade 6 and welcome to your literature class. We will be going over the next four chapters from part 8 which is told from Augie's perspective. Along with that we will also be looking at symbolism in wonder. So this, these are your learning objectives here. First up, I'll give you a brief summary of the four chapters that we are supposed to read for this week and then we'll go on to uh, the next part. So, uh, in these four chapters basically, the students are all at the nature reserve there and they are going for a movie. Now when the movie starts, Augie and Jack, Jack watch it roughly until the middle and then Jack wants to use the bathroom. But uh, since there's a huge queue there, they decide to go into the woods. When Jack's done, he and Augie try to leave, but they run into a group of older kids from another school. The kids shine a flashlight at Augie's face and they start freaking out and they also start calling him names. Jack tries to confront them, stop them, but this does not help. Uh, and the situation gets really ugly. However, Henry, Amos and Miles show up and tell the other kids to back off. And then the, all of them start to walk back to the movie, but the guy who's leading the other kids, that's Eddie, grab, grabs Ogie's sweatshirt hood and yanks him to the ground. And a fight starts between both sides. Eventually, Henry pulls Ogie by the arm and tries to carry him away. Um, so this was a brief summary. Uh, I have... Uh, I have put up a separate file where you have all the chapter summary. Please have a look at it as well. So, now this fight is a really important moment in the book because of the way Augie handled it, handles it. Though the kids from the other school make fun of Augie's face, he does not let this uh, get to him like he did in the past. And even more important, uh, thing is that the other kids Henry Miles and Amos who had been on Julian's side during the war are now stand up for Ogie so this moment is symbolic because it shows that everyone in school who matters has accepted Ogie as one of their own which brings me to the main uh, part of the lesson today what do you mean by a symbol or what is symbolism symbols so on your screen now you can see three emojis so they're nothing but symbols which we use all the time uh, what do you think these emojis suggest I'll leave you to answer that you can jot that down somewhere on a piece of paper so how would you define a symbol right the definition down. A symbol is often an ordinary object, event, person or animal to which we have attached extraordinary meaning and significance. Symbolism is the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. One symbol can say a surprising amount and other uh, surprising amount and others might say even more than one thing. For example, Black is a symbol that represents evil or death. Now, writers use symbols because it allows them to suggest layers and layers of meanings and possibilities that a simple sentence or simple literal statement could never convey. Another example, uh, a skull and bone can symbolize poison or danger. First up, I'll give you a brief summary of the four chapters that we are supposed to read for this week and then we'll go on to uh, the next part. So, uh, in these four chapters basically, the students are all at the nature reserve there and they are going for a movie. Now when the movie starts, Augie and Jack, Jack... So, now let's look at the symbols in Wonder. We're going to be looking at some symbols that occur within Wonder's world, uh, sorry, August's world. First up is the astronaut helmet. 
So this helmet basically is a symbol of Ogi's insecurities about the way he looks. You know, uh, in order to be normal, he felt that he had to hide his true self. So he used the helmet. But after he loses the helmet, he realizes that he can get by without it. And his eventual positive response to Dad's final revelation uh, that the helmet was thrown out confirms that Ogi has lost his old insecurity. Once he starts going school, going to school and meets people, he's quite comfortable in his skin. Next up uh, is Star Wars. So Ogi's various Star Wars toys, games are symbolic of his childhood. As he grows up over the novel, when he's going out uh, to the nature reserve with his schoolmates, he attempts to shed his old persona. Like, you know, he wants a bag which is which has no image of anything from Star Wars. Although Star Wars will always be important to him, but part of growing up is seeking out new interests and learning to leave some things behind in the past. The next symbol is the universe. So uh, we see a lot of uh, sections, like Leah's section, for example, begins with a description of the universe that her family is and the way their universe revolves around Ogi. Then Justin continues with this motif in this section as he acknowledges how the universe has been unkind to Ogi in many ways, but Ogi has also been blessed. So the idea of the universe is important because it emphasizes that there is always something out there bigger than any single person, something guiding the way the world works. And finally, Daisy. So Daisy the dog is an important symbol of the Pullman's family's love and loyalty. Daisy ties the Pullman's together in a way that nothing else can, helping them to move past their fights and arguments. She's a symbol of unconditional love. No matter what Augie looks like, she still loves him. So now this brings us to our task. Your task is to draw a symbol that could represent you or your own or your life. All right. So you have to draw it, color it and uh, like design it and write a few sentences to explain the symbolism be below the image that you created. You could do it on an A4 paper and upload it on Google Classroom. Thank you.